The Yankees are loaded with home run power. Nobody knows that and appreciates it more than their manager, Aaron Boone, who joins us on the Friday High Heat program. Booney, good afternoon to you. Hi, Matty. How you doing? Doing great, man. We have so much to get to you with. Um, and I guess let's just start with those players. And, and, boy, the job you did last year, the season the Yankees had, it wasn't just writing down names and letting them go. You had a lot of injuries to deal with last season. So let's do a health check with you. Um, the guys that were hurt for you last year, I know Hicks, TJ surgery, you got guys that are nicked up all over the place. How is the collective health of the group? Uh, pretty good. I, you know, obviously yesterday was the first first workout day for, for pitchers and catchers, and um, everyone's doing pretty well. Obviously, uh, Paxton had the surgery now about nine or ten days ago, um, so he, he's going to be down for a little bit, but but we feel good about his prognosis and, and how he's responded here and how the surgery went and everything. Um, Hicks, you mentioned, um, he'll be here with, with the position players, and uh, in my conversations with him, he's, he's doing well, but you know he's going to be out of at least a good chunk of the season season and um, but overall feel like uh, you know we're in a pretty good spot obviously Miguel and Duhar um, is back and and had a really good off season comes in in really good shape and and hungry to prove himself and um, so overall right now we're we're excited about where we are you know we're dinged up a little bit but but overall pretty good yeah it's I mean it's so clear to to all of us that your team is going to score a lot of runs um, but maybe a little trickier is the pitching rotation just based on some of the variables you mentioned being without Paxton for a while Domingo Herman will be serving out uh, the back end of his suspension not available to start the season is it too early to ask you about a rotation and, and one through five how you're lining them up in your brain well obviously Cole and and, and Seve being back is, and healthy is, is huge for us and and then Tanaka and Hap you know those are those are the first four and then and then we have a number of guys that um, we feel like we'll potentially slide into that fit. Jordan Montgomery returned from injury last year and was able to finish the season healthy. Um, so we're excited about having him back and returning. And then I think one of the really exciting things about our camp is this year, for me anyway, is we're starting to see that next wave of, of you know, elite pitching prospects that we've felt so good about here now for a couple of years, but that have been down in the lower levels. A lot of those guys are now on the 40 man. Um, a lot of those are going to start to, to push for jobs and for playing time. And, you know, we could see them at varying times throughout the year. You know, there's been a lot of talk about Davey Garcia and Michael King and, and, and the list goes on and on, frankly, about how excited we are about a lot of pitchers, right now on our roster from that kind of 15 through 30 spot where there's a lot of guys that you can really dream upon that that you feel like potentially have uh, really bright major league futures ahead of them. Let's go back to uh, to, to Garrett Cole for a sec here Booney because um, I'm, I'm just wondering how these things go when there's a high priced free agent that joins a team. So after the deal's done and he's officially a Yankee. You reach out to him and, and talk about your first communication with him when it was official and then how often you guys talked or texted during the winter before getting to camp together. Yeah, so, you know, I, I think as everyone knows or most people know, we, we went um, – a handful of us out to California, uh, you know, bef before we were able to sign them and, and got to spend four or five hours with them, really just getting to know each other and, and him asking a lot of questions, us asking a lot of questions, kind of, you know, showing him who we were uh, and, and vice versa. So really feel like we got a good picture and, and understanding of, of who he was, um, kind of came away from that, uh, I guess, interview or our meeting um, kind of blown away at, at the person and um, you know I think was one of the things that obviously with his great talent and being a great pitcher but I think one of the reasons you know we made a commitment to him as an organization is the kind of person that we believe we're getting as well so um, and then he, then he came out for the press conference after we signed him so we basically kind of spent the day together and then beyond that it's just been you know kind of text text messages checking in on them um, you know him really you know starting to get to know our 
our organization, our, our new pitching coach, having those conversations and, and just starting to build those relationships. But after the press conference and, and into spring training, mostly my, my dealings with him were just, you know, small conversations, small talk, text messages, just kind of checking in. Text messages to make sure he's not uh, undertaking anything like mountain climbing or, you know, <laughs> anything yeah. dangerous. That's a little bit frowned upon, yeah. <laughs> hey, we got to ask you, you know, the big, the big picture story in baseball that everybody's reacting to as camps open is uh, what's been happening in Houston and the comments yesterday at spring training. I know that you've been asked about it. Players mm -hmm. have been asked about it. I, personally, Booney, I'm really surprised that the player reaction has been as strong as it has. Has that caught you off guard? Because players usually support players, if, if not just say nothing. But there's been a lot of criticism out there. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'm surprised about it because, you know, I've kind of lived it too here. And, you know, when all the news broke over the last, you know, as it's trickled in here over the last couple of months and, and in earnest here these last three, four weeks, um, you know, I was having conversations, you know, with, with people within our organization, with our players. Um, so I was seeing some, some of the raw reaction, um, you know, myself included, you know, and I've kind of, you know, frankly had a, had a hard time kind of reconciling it all and making sense of it all and, and, you know, having my thoughts real clear on it. You know, I've, I've experienced a lot of emotions over over what's gone on, and and I think a lot of our players, and, and obviously in seeing the reaction around Major League Baseball, um, you know, I've seen some of those raw reactions as well. And But frankly, um, I'm not all that surprised, uh, just based on how, you know, it caught me emotionally when when the news finally broke. Yeah, I, I know that you're a person that, uh, as a fan of the game, and that never changes. Uh, you kind of watch everything, you read everything, and I'm quite sure you caught uh, Big Brother's appearance down here at the network, at least part of it. So score them out, grade out Brett's two-day stint as a guest analyst with us here at MLB Network. How did he do? I thought he I thought he did really well. You know, I, I had to get on him to make sure he sat up. Uh, you know, he was slouching in his chair that first day, but, but I thought <laughs> overall presence I thought was really good. I thought he was very comfortable for a guy that hasn't done it a lot and feel like uh, my takeaway was, and I, and I feel like I was looking at it objectively, like my takeaway was he could be really good at this. Yeah, he could. Uh, there's yeah. the, there was no doubt in our mind either. We're showing a couple of those slouch shots. You were right. I didn't catch that. <laughs> he was almost too comfortable. He was always yeah. comfortable as a player, that's for sure. Yeah. Good stuff. So. Hey, Booney, thanks for the phone call. Uh, we appreciate right, it. Look forward to seeing you in Tampa soon.